So my buddy bought his first BMW today and I've seen it before, but I'm gonna show you guys because we're gonna play with it right away. And by play with it, we're gonna tune it. It has a slight issue, but uh, we'll fix that with MHD. Look at that. Oh, hey, Chad. Hey, how's it going? Good. Oh, God, I can't get into this. What did you purchase? Oh, it's M3. Yeah? Does it have a check engine light? Nope, not right now, because you cleared it. <laughs> oh, okay. That's great. So a quick rundown while Chad makes a 30 point turn is that, uh, yeah, hit the, hit the garage door. My neighbors will appreciate it. He ended up buying an M3, found out it was a comp, and then uh, it broke. And then he took it back and it was broken. And it went to BMW and it was broken. And now it has a misfire. Yep, that's about it. Only when he pins it, but it's an S55, so it's probably okay, because it's not an N55. So we're off to go get some plugs and then tune it with MHD and see how it goes. All right, Chad, is it gonna misfire? I don't know, we'll find out. It's misfiring. She's misfiring. Sure is. No check engine light though. No, but you can feel it. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, for those of you that may not know, this is going to end up being for your shifting. So you'll see D there. This will be your power mode for the transmission. And Chad learned that he has EDC that's still active. Isn't that right, Chad? Yep. Yeah. There's going to be multiple settings for this thing that he's going to have to play with and then eventually code in the M buttons and uh, yeah, he'll be good to go. Auto value. Oh! oh, a little too much, still getting it. <laughs> Adjusted for that. Yeah, it's just a little bit. <laughs> Holy. I thought yeah. it was higher than that. So you beached it a little bit. Okay, Chad. You get to go in and order park plugs. 97506? Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you again. Appreciate it. <laughs> Say that again. Nothing. Hold on. The microphone's right here. Say that again. That sounds a little what? a little washer thing. I already know. I was just bugging you. <laughs> no, you think they're broken too. <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube. He's a little slow. All right, so when we get back, Chad's going to be doing the plugs on his BMW <laughs> after it cools worse. down. Know what's worse? Doing plugs on a Ram 1500. You got to do 16, 16 of them. Yep. And one is right by the master brake cylinder, and you got to put these little inch and a half sockets and do one at a time, clicking them without dropping them in until you can get it long enough to unbolt them and then take each one out <laughs> at a time. Oh, that it sounds sucks. awful. <laughs> And okay. I've done that a few times. I don't think they did plugs on this because BMW accounts for plugs at 100K. And if they're tuned, you're meant to be changing them like half that, 40, 50K. Yeah. So I'd be willing to bet this is a misfire. And you know what? If it's not, at least it's early enough that you could take it back and be like, guys, what the f***? Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? And then, oh, maybe you want this. It was sitting on my nuts. I'll pass it to the guy. These nuts? <laughs> yeah, just wipe it all over his face. Yeah. That's good. Maybe a little bit more. Ah, a little bit more. That's good. Too much. Good job, Chad. Thanks. Look at that, you're learning BMW stuff. It's vehicle stuff, it's all the same. Tear down everything to get to stuff. It's just how hard it is to get to stuff. Is it? That's that e well, no, just to get to well, them. Say it on camera. How easy was it? <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It was a lot, like there's three trays of screws, but that's, that's it when you got all the right tools. It's just time. <sighs> yeah. Chad did all right. He got the boomerang off and he got the 
strut brace off and all the plastic and whatnot. So now we have easier access to the coil packs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it cool down just a little bit more. We're gonna pull the coil packs off and just make sure we don't end up stripping a, stripping a thread or pulling a thread when we pull the plugs out. Chad got new plugs. What are they? 97506 NGKs? That's right. Yeah. The radiums. It, that's <laughs> that's all you know to say. That's all I know to They're say. They're iridiums. They're iridiums. Do you guys like his 2003 Circa uh, this turbo is thing? This year, told you 8080. Look at all the Get dust. Get me a car. <laughs> all the dust from it being in, your, in storage. All right, we're gonna pull the coils out. We're gonna get the new plugs. We're gonna gap them to probably 20 thou. I'm gonna double check. Go from there. Chad, are you gonna gap these or am I gapping these? I'll let you gap them. Oh, you will allow me the- <laughs> I will allow the privilege, yeah. I see how it is. Time to pull your plugs. Now we're gonna put them in a row. Felt pretty good. What do you think? Changed once? Changed never? I have no idea. I'm gonna say at least once. What the f is going on with this one? You see that? Yeah, it looks like it was arcing over on that other part across here. There's also oil on it. I see that. It's a factory inject, a uh, factory plug. That's a very weird looking plug. And it's the wrong plug too, it's Bosch. Oh, f but it's NGK seems to run quite a bit better in these. But Bosch is like stock, and if they left it at the stock gap, and if they never, uh... oh, Chad, you know what? I have a feeling they did. What? I have a feeling they had aftermarket plugs in here, and then they threw back the stock plugs. No. Yeah, they could have. That's a lot of work just to change to stock plugs, knowing nobody's gonna go in there. Okay, cylinder two. Why is there oil on top? This one was loose. Hmm. Oh my God, could you imagine misfires literally from it blowing compression out cylinder six from being loose? Something's wrong with these plugs. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. What that is that ain't right, I ain't sure. I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on these plugs. Let's see if they're gonna focus. They're looking a little bit weird like so that's cylinder one. I'm gonna check the gap really quick. And they all look pretty consistent, but cylinder six is the one that was misfiring, but this is the one that is a little bit strange. So you can see on the porcelain where it's meant to be white, and then for whatever reason on the back of the plug, it looks like it's been overheated. Like when it turns red. Yeah, you can see it has a it's not gonna show up on screen, but it has a, a red tint to it. So this plug has been overheated. So there's a good chance that this was the reason for the misfire. Yeah, found it. Right. No, hold on, I'll show you. I'm gonna show them first. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, look. Can I guess? You think that crack might have something to do no, with it? Yeah, gonna yeah there's a big crack. Remember yeah. 235, Tony? Yeah. Same thing happened to my MP35. So the plug is unbelievably hot, and then at some point you can see right there where the porcelain's cracked. Yep. So pretty standard when it ends up overheating, and ironically, from that one corner where we were thinking it had an issue, all the way down here it's cracked. Okay, uh, for shits and giggles, let's check the gap on these. And I'm only gonna check the one on the fucking cooked one. 29 thou. So the gap is relatively okay, but something happened with these plugs. Yeah, they overheated. Okay, well, we're gonna throw the new plugs in and see how it runs. We've thrown the plugs in very gingerly. 
torqued them because Chad didn't trust my abilities. Threw the coils in and under my direct supervision, Chad is going to reassemble it. <laughs> and then we'll see how it goes. You're supposed to say, next level rides neighbor here, <laughs> BMWs suck. <laughs> All right, one lady and three gents, however many viewers we have. We finished the plugs, fired it up, it ran good. We moved it out just for now, and we're going to be tuning it with MHD. So, Chad, I'm gonna run you through it with everyone else. So there's the MHD. Now what you're gonna do is turn the ignition on and put your seatbelt on so that it doesn't go to sleep. Okay, and you go to your Wi-Fi. It'll pop up MHD 2188, I think. Now go into MHD and Click unlock check right at the bottom. Yeah. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna connect to your VIN. See how it's populated your VIN? Now go back. See how it's ending in 9375? Click the three arrows. Uh, my license. Yeah, see how it's 9375? Activate new license. And then paste. I'm gonna hide that from the internet. Don't try it. It's already redeemed. Uh-uh. Okay, now just disconnect your Wi-Fi real quick. So you needed the Wi-Fi to connect to the car. Yeah, click OK. Activate new license. Oh, do it again. Uh, uh, uh. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. Success. All right, Chad, you ready for this? Now, you're going to flash an MHD map. Okay, and it's going to populate a bunch of different options. So for Octane rating, you want to click US Canada. And then for yours, so here you have your OEMs, so like CS, GTS. So you can literally have the 500 horsepower GTS map. But for yours, we're going to go to this 91. So you'll select, actually, so for transmission flash, I would probably click GTS style. So these are all map slots, so you don't need to worry about that right now. And then for stage one, you make sure 91 is selected. Yeah, and then tap on where it says stage one, like up in that bar. Yeah, all right, so it's gonna connect. Okay, now scroll down, connect back to the Wi-Fi. All right, while well, it's connecting, give us your 48 hours of BMW ownership. Love it. <laughs> yeah? Lots of fun. <laughs> Did it break after when you took it for a spin? Nope, everything has been been running good now perfect no check in well no that no that one's fine that's just because we're flashing don't yeah. worry about that check engine light that one's okay yeah okay go back to mhd <sighs> apple products god okay hit back now same thing tap on stage one and now it's going to connect to the dme see that's the one you're going to run the 1.12 91 octane click options and burbles so these are all the options that you'll end up getting with the S55. These are going to be, for the most part, subjective. So select whichever ones you want. We're going to select and go through these, and then we'll get back to you right when we go to flash. All right, so we're flashing 1.12. This is going to take probably five to eight minutes. Let's see. Two minutes. Damn, that's quick. Okay, we're going to flash. Just a couple of things to keep in mind is put your seatbelt on. Some people put the... the climate control on and on G series you want to press the start button three times to get it into diagnostics mode just so it doesn't shut down mid flash. All right so wait 30 seconds so you can shut it off. Like the, so the car. Ignition. Yeah so now we can go for a test drive it's on the 91 map so it's fine there may be some timing corrections yeah but you can get some 94 octane. Yeah we can just run over the gas station and fill up. Yeah just chill. Yeah yeah. Chad's gonna go fill up with the gas while I make his pop pop walla bro tune a little bit louder. You sure you want it pop pop bang bang? No, no, I like, I don't know, just a little bit more than that, but maybe not, uh... no, that was really loud. <laughs> Whatever you think, I'll let you make the decisions right now and we'll see how it is. Yeah, um, turn it one press. Which one? 
the yeah. Yeah, that might be why I was slow and pulling timing because it was spinning. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, give her. Okay, so the timing correct. <laughs> Go ahead, try and talk. I put it. I put it to Walla, bro. It's on hard. So the timing corrections were because it was spinning. Oh, really? Yeah. That's why. Because I was looking at it, I'm like, there's no knock. But there's lots of timing corrections because it was trying to spin. Alright, well I'm going to turn that then. I'm going to make that so M1. Yeah. Um, and you so obviously, turn that off then. obviously be careful because if you end up so having like it all the way off, just go this one? MDM. Yeah. And then it'll allow for a little bit of slip. Okay. How's your burble, Chad? Burbly. Oh God. Paying attention to your phone. <laughs> I need your face ID. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna look at the log and go from there. Oh yeah, it's loving it. So let's look at the logs. Yeah, you can see it's cleaned up quite a bit. Yeah, like 6,500. You're still 21 pounds of boost. Yeah, 20, 21. Few minor timing corrections during a shift, but that's that's normal. It's looking good. Oh my God! Please tell me you're not going to keep that. No, let's turn that down a little. <laughs> okay, maybe turn right up or left yeah, up here. Ah. Oh. I just realized the window's been open the whole time, so you might not even hear him. That was good. It feels really good. Now imagine if you had this yesterday. Maybe you wouldn't have lost to a 540. <laughs> okay, Chad likes it. I like it. It's quick. I don't know if there's much more to say. Pretty simple. You end up just getting the license from MHD. Make sure you're on top of the maintenance, plugs, flash it, you're done. So we're gonna drive it around a bit more and head back and we'll see you guys in the next one of course it starts raining okay chad drift it yeah do it as it misfires and blows do it drift no drift no chicken <laughs> i bet you won't <laughs> hey chad do you remember when you almost had uh when you had an opportunity to buy an r34 gtt that was mint. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Yeah, and it was, I think, like 12 grand or something. Yep. And what did you say? No, nah, I don't want it. <laughs> Wouldn't be happy without a GTR. I'll hold out. But I ended up with an M3. You could have bought it for 12, <laughs> sold it for 60, and bought this yep. for 12 after enjoying it for 10 years. Yep. Thanks for bringing that up again. <laughs> These are hot still. Yeah. Like unbelievably hot. Damn. Still. Yeah. Woo. Damn, I am. That's the one. Yeah. There you go. Grab it by no, the No, I don't want to grab, grab it by, by the metal, metal Chad. <laughs> Those are hot. <laughs> In the line. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you know what's awful? Even when it's unlocked. I have very little feeling in that hand. In that hand? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, those are, those are toasty. Those are spicy. It's funny, I work on M's, but I don't own an M. It's Canada, I don't like paying tax, and I guess I see M tax as tax. There's a wasp. Chad, there's a wasp. What? Not the, you, you threw it at me.